My name is Sarah Thompson, and um, I just wanted to give my testimony today. Um, well, as a child, um, I wasn't supposed to be here. I'm the only ethnic one in my whole entire family, so I really didn't have any connections even within my family. There was racism even within my family. Um, my grandma, God bless her heart, she's from Arkansas. And uh, when my mom got pregnant, she got pregnant quite, a, quite young, and um, my grandma didn't want her to have me. I was supposed to be aborted. Um, my mom told me that information when I was in my 30s. Um, I really wish she wouldn't have told me that because that really gave me a lot of anger towards my family. Um, I felt a lot of disconnect. Um, so that was just a part of the, the anger. Um, and then um, my stepfather, um, he uh, molested me and my, my sister and my, all of my female cousins. And so that was a whole other form of anger that I, I couldn't quite understand, I couldn't grasp, and uh, we weren't allowed to talk about it, you know, it was everything was just swept under the rug. And so I remember me and my friends um, sat down and made a homemade Ouija board, put our blood on it and everything. And uh, I'll never forget though, that day, the next day, us as a group, my friends were walking and we almost got ran over. We almost just, we almost died. It was crazy. So I'm like, okay, this is, that's real. That stuff's real. And uh, for some reason, it will either steer you away or it will make you want to know more of that dark side. And unfortunately, I wanted to know more. I, I wanted the devil to come in me and lead me. I knew then that um, I had to be delivered. Uh, I don't think I've ever been delivered, just prayed for, you know. I saw that Mike Signorelli was coming to uh, here, so I came. And I'd been watching him, so I already knew, hey, I'm giving up these addictions. I'm gonna give it right to him. And I was, my spirit on that day was, my flesh was literally screaming no. But I knew, I already knew Mike was going to say something about bringing your stuff to the altar, or, you know, because I, I, I was watching it. So I was like, I beat him to the punch, basically. I was like, look, just take it. <laughs> There's no words. Um, I was standing next to my daughter and I was praying, you know, for anything that needed to come out. I was praying in anger, honestly, angry at anything that was in me just to manifest, to show itself. You can't hide anymore. And I remember my, my hands just clenching and my whole body clenching and I was just started screaming and I wasn't completely in the back seat. Like I was, I, I know what I was, I knew what I was doing, but I had no control. And I remember just this roar looking at everybody and just roaring at them. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, what's going on, you know? And um, it wasn't me screaming, it wasn't, the anger wasn't me, even though I can feel it. And then when, um, when he came to start praying for me and um, demanding who, what, what was manifesting, it was like, I could hear him. What have you done to her? What have you done to destroy her life? Speak out. You demon causing anger? Came into my head, I just I just said it, you know, anger. In, you know, incest. Um, Witchcraft, anything that I felt was right there, right at the surface. I had no choice but to say it. Addiction. And how did you enter her life? Her stepdad. He took her. Through sex. Through abuse. She believes she's so stupid. She wants to die. You demon that entered through abuse, through her stepdad, causing anger, opening the door to witchcraft, and all the other things in her life right now in the name of Jesus. Your time is expired. I send the light of God, bringing judgment of Jesus Christ over your body right now in the name of Jesus. And um, I know I, I was fighting, I was screaming, and. Um, 
right there towards the end, it was like this roar of years and years and years of anguish. Out! 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 Coming out, and as I was falling, it was, it was coming out. And, um, and then when I, when I went home and I watched the video over and over again, and my family watched the video, they knew that it wasn't me. That's not you. So I knew it was the power of the Holy Spirit that came in that day and took all that anguish that I had instilled in me as a baby and took that out and just reminded me that he was there with me through everything. And every time I would envision certain things that were happening to me, all I could do was see him right there with me. And I'm here for a reason, and now I know that. Once you encounter that Holy Spirit, you can't deny it. I have a sense of peace. My mouth doesn't feel locked anymore. I can pray in my house, listen to my worship music, and just feel his presence every day come in. Like I, now I can't even go a day without going into my prayer closet and worshiping him. That feeling is like none other. If you've ever gone through any type of abuse, um, you know that um, Jesus is like the furthest thing from your mind because you're questioning why would he ever allow anything like that to happen, you know? And we will never understand. Uh, we just know that evil runs this world. And, um, but no matter what, to just give yourself to Jesus and to allow him to use you, allow him to just feel you with his presence and, and to allow him to, to speak to you, through you, and you can be a testimony. I never thought that I would. I just never thought, I mean, I knew I would, I just didn't know when. And, and when it is, now that it's here, it feels, like it, it feels like it's all so sudden, even though it's been years. But I knew I had to go through my deliverance and, ex and, and allowing him to clean me up before I can even walk on this path of even trying to help anybody else. You know, you just ask him, you Jesus, come into my heart, save me, open up my heart, and you, ha you know, and be willing, be willing and ready for him to come in to use you and stir your spirit. And if you need to be delivered, don't have no shame in it. Everybody has stuff, and everybody has a testimony for somebody else. And it's not ours, it's for somebody else. You know, you can't sit and wallow in it. Use it as a light for somebody else to let them know, hey, you came from that, but guess what? God can save you. God, God can heal you.